between 16 and 17, I got in a lot of trouble. Burglary, auto tampering, I was fighting a lot, um, and stealing. Because I did some burglaries and I stole stuff. And then I stole cars too. And uh, so I got 31 years in prison. I got four sevens and a three running concurrent. So I actually only had seven, but my sentence was actually 31. They just ran it together. I went up to confront him and he knocked me down. And when I got up, I was in a rage and all that anger from two years in prison and the way I was, you know, raised and stuff. Plus, I was super drunk. I just, I just started on him and I didn't stop. And my friends pulled me off or he would have died. I was blown away when I got it in the mail. I couldn't believe it when I got it in the mail. I literally cried and screamed when I got it. It was amazing. It made me feel like I paid for what I did. Like I was actually, after all the years, 20 years or 20 some years, all the damage I did that I deserved to be punished for, it almost felt like that's the moment when it was fully paid for. Like I fully made it right finally, as if I never did it before. That's kind of what it is too. That's how it really feels to me. Almost like I never did it, which I wish I could go back and never do anything, you know what I mean? You know, I, I still believe in law and order. I, I believe criminals need to be treated as such, you know, and they've got accountability they have to do to the general public. So I, I think that's important to me. I think it's important to me that we set a standard to people know, uh, you know, what happens when you commit a crime. There's going to be consequences. And, and once you've learned to accept that and once you realize, yeah, I made a mistake and, and, and a lot of things have you owned up to that crime. It depends a lot, too, on references. You know, I mean, you know, who's out there, you know, actually saying, hey, I believe this guy deserves another chance. Maybe that's a sheriff. Maybe it's law enforcement. Maybe it's a prosecutor. Maybe it's a judge. You know, different things like that, you know. And, you know, when you get people in the community that you live in and they start saying things about you, how you've changed and stuff, it does have an impact, you know. Uh, and it, it does on me. And at the end of the day, I'm the one making decisions, so. Man, almost I'm, I'm I'm actually having a hard time not crying right now because it was it was really cool. I'm just grateful to Jesus because He changed me. If it wasn't for Him, there's no way. I tried so hard to quit drinking. I tried to quit uh, mainly drinking, but I just couldn't. And I got on my face and I gave up and I said, Jesus, please, if you're real, help me. He did it. <laughs>